Okay, so as you could see from that time lapse, I went mining for a while and using the zombie spawn I got 30 levels and then enchanted this time a pickaxe a little bit before, which is how I got 40 diamonds and all of that redstone, coal, and lapis. And I also got a bunch of iron that I have scattered throughout my chests. But I am using iron tools, and all of them are running really low. Hello, villager. And I have 40 diamonds. So I think that I will start off this episode by making some diamond armor and tools. But actually, I don't have any wood. So first, I'm going to chop a tree down, get some wood, and then we can make the diamond tools. Okay, so we're back. I've got some sticks and the diamonds. So first, I hope this villager is pushing me. I'm going to make the armor. There we go, full diamond armor. Now a sword. I need an axe. And a shovel. I think that's all of the diamond tools I'll need for now. Oh, diamond achievement, advancement. I'll just put all of this back. And I have this chest as well because I have so much stuff now. And I have 39 levels, so. Oh, if I could, let me go. It's a bit of lapis. I got this more. Well, that should be plenty of lapis. Sharpness 3, no. Efficiency 4, maybe. Efficiency 4, maybe. Not fire protection. Protection 3, eh. Maybe protection 3. Unbreaking 3. Um. I think I'll go with the axe, I guess. Oh, that's a efficiency 4, silk touch, and breaking 3. That is a pretty good axe. Oh, protection for helmet. Fire protection for. Fire protection for. Protection for boots. Bane of arthropods for. Efficiency for a shovel. Um, have I checked everything? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, it's fire protection for. Um, Bane of arthropods. I think I'll go with the. Boot for protection for ah uh, just protection for okay. Fire protection thorns two. I can read oh I'm breaking three, okay, it's not that bad. I'm breaking three and knock back two. Hmm. Oh I could unenchant No, I don't really wanna do that. Definitely not knockback. I think I'll go with that. Efficiency 4 and breaking 3. Okay. So, and breaking 3 helmet. And breaking 3 chest plate. And unbreaking. Okay. Or. And breaking 3 sword. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll go with the sword. Ah, uh, and breaking. Th um, I'm gonna actually disenchant this sword and try to get something better. I don't like to disenchant the table thing. Should be in here. I could just be blind. I'm just missing it. Hmm. Um. I 
think I know how to make it. Actually, I have no clue. Oh, wait, that's completely crap. Grindstone. Can you not make those in Java? Maybe not. So after some quick re some quick research, apparently you can make it in Java, just not showing up for some reason. So I'm gonna get the materials required, and then I'll meet y'all back at the crafting bench once again to make the grindstone. Okay, so I think I have everything I need. I think the recipe is. Oh. Something like this? No. Um. After some more quick research. I still do not know how to make it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that, that is the recipe. Oh, it is planks, not slabs. There we go. Now we got a grindstone. And it's nighttime. Okay, and it's daytime. Uh, I think I'll just place the grindstone here, I guess. Uh, I'll get rid of that enchantment. I think, I guess I'll keep this. Uh, what do I have on my sword now? Because if I have anything good for any of these pieces of armor, fire stuff too. And that's okay. I'm breaking three, it's pretty good. I'm breaking three. Oh, protection of four, okay. So I think I'm gonna go down, down to the zombie spawner, AFK, get enough levels to do four more enchantments, and then I will once again come back. Okay, and I'm back, and as you can see, I have 40 levels, which means I can enchant all of these at least once I'm breaking three on the helmet I'm breaking the chest plate ooh prop four legs fire stuff too I think I'll go with the prop four legs and I'm breaking three okay that's pretty good knockback two nope I'm breaking three I'm breaking three um Hmm. I think I'll go with some breaking through the helmet. Oh, fire protection. Okay, um, I'm breaking free sword and blast. Oh. Sharpness to air. Eh, that's not that good. And then protection. Um, I'm gonna go unenchant this sword. like half level about from that so if I can get something better on this smite 4 definitely not sure and I'm breaking 3 I guess that's fine looting 3 okay that's not that bad but that's all I'm going to be going for I'm not going to go up and grind some more levels as you can see off camera I finished the fence all the way around the village, which means that this village is now fenced in. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this armor on so that I have it. There we go. And now the only way for mobs to get in, I'm looking on the stand real quick. put my old iron armor on. 
to, uh, as I was saying, another way for mobs to get in now is if they spawn in here, which tonight I'll probably work on making sure that mobs cannot spawn in here. And then I'll work on turning this village from what it currently is, as uh, just for villagers to run around, and I'll turn into an actual trading village. Like, I'll have a place for librarians, some farmers. I'll definitely have some clerics. Um, I don't know where he went. But because of that zombie spawner, I have a lot of rotten flesh. And I'll be able to make some emeralds off of that. And then I'll work on making a paper farm as well. Uh, probably an iron farm if I can use. These guys, their second trade is iron. I probably have enough coal to unlock that. So I can show you guys. There you go. If he, um... There you go. Yeah, their second trade is iron. So I can get an iron farm up and do that. Um... I'm gonna put my sticks in here. Yeah. I think this is how you make a. Uh, something like. No. Armor stone. How about I just. Looks like I need to do some more research to find out how to make an armor stand. Oh, I was close. Try this. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this armor stand, um... There we go. And then, do I have any mining food tools? Oh, can they not hold weapons in this version? Hmm. I guess there's a lot more differences than I thought from Bedrock to Java. Yeah, if you don't, if you didn't know, uh, in Bedrock you can make these guys have different positions and they can hold items, which I thought they could, but apparently they cannot. So now I'm just gonna wait till it gets night. Oh, here's a cleric I can show you. They have a rotten flesh trade, which is 32 for one. And I have multiple stacks of rotten flesh, so that should be fine. Yeah, it looks like it's getting night. Which actually, I need to make a whole lot more torches. There you go, that should be enough. But. There is a very high possibility that it still will not be enough. So I guess we'll just start torching from up here. And the way I torch is kind of an interesting way. So you can place one torch every 12 blocks, so that there's 11 blocks in between. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there should be 11 blocks in between. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. I misplaced that one. And you can just do that all the way down. And then to go this way, you can do the same things with this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, torch. And then if you go here, you can go out, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and then out this way six. One, two, three, four, I guess five. This might actually would have been very helpful there. But then that should be out six this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can just do that to double check. And then from here, the lowest light level should be eight. Um, yeah. Eight, which is right here, which means that no mobs can spawn. So then we just continue doing this across the entire village, and then no mobs will be able to spawn. However, there will be a lot of birthday candles. So eventually I'm going to place these torches with probably sea lanterns or glowstone with like some green carpet on top. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've lit up the entire village now. And it does not look the best entirely, but like I said before, I can put either some glowstone blocks or sea lanterns with some lime green or dark green carpets on top of them to make this look slightly better. So that there's not just torches everywhere. Oh, we could go get some burn meal from there. And then, yeah, I did have to put some in there. And if there's going to be a torch inside the building, I just didn't put it there. But if there was going to be something like right here, I just mined that block. Yeah, I think that that is going to be the end of this episode. And hopefully next time we can uh, actually do something more with this village. Um, there we go. Next time I'll be able to do something with the village. Hopefully get some villager training going on. Get some librarians, maybe some mending books, protection books. Some good books and then obviously some ways to get emeralds as well. But that's going to be all for this episode. Thank you for watching. See you next week.